Hi guys, it's Burns. I'm back to show you my really quick Sunday afternoon makeup. Just going to take a little bit of MAC Studio Fix in what color my NC40. And I'm just going to apply that. Just rubbing it in. I really like this. It gives me really good coverage. And my skin is really oily. So I like this because it doesn't slide all over my face by the end of the day. One of my favorite new channels that I like watching is called here on YouTube Gross Makeup Guy. He is this British guy. He's amazing. And um, just one of the more unique makeup channels that I've seen. Number one, it's a guy. And number two, he does all the makeup application on himself. He does so many different looks. And it's just, it's really neat when you first see it. You're kind of like, oh my god, it's a guy. He's putting makeup on himself. And then when you really just look at it, like two seconds in, you're like, damn, that guy is good. So I want to say hello to gross makeup. Guy? Artist? I will check and see. And uh, put it on the sidebar. I want to say hello. I love your stuff. And I'll tell all my friends about your channel. Not that you need help getting people to watch your stuff. You're amazing. Okay. So this is my really quick foundation application. And I'm no pro, but, you know, I've been doing makeup on myself for a while. This is Gosh, and it's by, it's the makeup line that Shoppers Drug Mart here in Canada has. I'm just going to apply just a little bit, just for a little color under my eye. It's Sunday afternoon, so I just want to look like I have a bit of color and definition to my face. Nothing too extreme. And then I'm just going to take an angle brush. This is by um, Sephora. And I'm just going to use some of my Urban Decay black eyeliner. Black powder as eyeliner. Just right along the top of that. Like so. And I hope that everybody had a great New Year's celebration and celebrated not just the bringing in of the New Year, but all of the things that happened in your life in 2009. The good, the bad, and everything in between. I don't believe bad things happen. I think it's all, all about how we approach what happens to us that matters. Hey babe, just give me two seconds, okay? Danica. Danica, just hey. give me two seconds. Oh, I was just gonna ask if I can, um... I'm taping. Oh. Bye. Da. My My daughter. Yeah, gotta ask right now. Okay, so that is my... Put a sign on your door. Uh, I'll put a sign on my door next time. Oh, kids. So that's my eyeliner. And then I'm just going to do a really quick powder, going over with some NC40 Studio Fix powder, just really lightly, just to take down the shine. I find I really need this to set in my, um, my foundation as well, so. Okay, so that's, that is about it. And one of the tricks that I just saw on um, Gross Makeup Guy's site is when you do your blush, this is MAC um, Breezy and their Shimmer Blush, is just to apply it to the upper part of your 
cheekbones like this to get a really nice uplifted look. I really like that tip. Usually I'll, you know, do some contouring stuff down here, but I like this technique a lot. So thank you for sharing that. So just getting it up on the upper cheekbones. Like so, I usually do a little bit on the, at the temple area too. And that's it. Usually I'll do my eyebrows as well. I'm in a bit of a hurry today and I don't think that I really need my eyebrows done all that much. Just gonna put a little bit of Muse lipstick on. And I like this color. It's kind of a, kind of a peachy kind of color. And then the same brand, the Muse. You know, I got, I didn't even get this at a big makeup place, just a little discount kind of place. Just applying some of this glitter lip gloss over top and that completes my look before I head out in this winter wonderland that I call Canada. I'm here to Toronto, Ontario. I take my pin out from my hair, give myself a little fluff and that is my look for today. So let me know what you think, subscribe to my video channel, and I will see you again. Take care. Bye.